Oh! Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, blooper. <laughs> I didn't fall, but I almost fell. Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Durak, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. guys happy new year it's a new year new year new chances and as i'm saying this <laughs> as i'm saying new year new chances i kind of have to admit that i hate the phrase new year new chances because i believe that every day of the year every hour of the day every minute of every hour you have chances you can decide anything you want anytime so but <laughs> I said it because everybody always says it. I'm in the middle of the woods and I sat down to have a little bit of drink. I'm here on my bike. Oh, I thought I saw a fox, but it's a dog. It's a person running with its dog. Uh, it's a cute dog though. I think it's gonna greet me. <laughs> it's just a cute spaniel but anyway um oh yeah so as I was saying <laughs> <coughs> I'm still recovering from my cold but I'm doing better I really think that it's going well because I'm here in Veluwe and they call the Veluwe the green lungs of the Netherlands so there's loads of oxygen here and less air pollution and in where I live, there's a lot of pollution, so. So I'm really happy about how I started this new year. We woke up in the van, we had a good night's sleep, we had kind of uh, made sure we were in a place where there wasn't going to be much fireworks, because because of COVID there was a national fireworks ban, but people just do whatever they want. People are here are very uh, firm about their traditions, same like sort of beat. They're like, this is our tradition, we get to set a fireworks! They just go nuts. And uh, because of COVID, because every year people set off fireworks, they get fireworks in their eyes or their hands blown off or just stuff goes wrong. And then they have to go to the hospital. So government said no fireworks this year. So I don't think there were being fireworks sold legally. But for some, word, for some some reason, people had a shit ton of fireworks. There were so many fireworks. But I'm laughing, but I should be crying. But <laughs> I didn't... I, I woke up because of all the noise. And I thought, ah, I'm going to film it for my YouTube video. And then I thought, no, because I freaking hate it. So I'm not going to film it. I'm not going to put it in my content because I don't agree with it. But... I've had Durak for 14 and a half years and um, I think the first year wasn't that bad but Durak has been scared of fireworks for um, yeah basically as long as I've had her and so I have and I've had horses living outside without stables so I have been stressed out every New Year's Eve 
taking care of my dog, taking her somewhere where there's no fireworks, and also the weeks leading up to it, because people always set off fireworks once once it's just dark out in the evening, so once like October, November, people are setting off fireworks, so my dogs get scared. But, because she's getting so deaf, she's not being bothered by it like any... She, Maybe if she would have seen the arrows go up with all the lights, maybe then. But she didn't hear any. So she was in the van, in her little bed, sleeping like a baby. And I was so happy for her. Plus, I don't have a horse anymore, so I didn't have to be outside. So I was just in my bed, chilling, sleeping. And then I woke up because people, I think, they were shooting kerpeet. So I was in my bed, sleeping, and then I heard boom, boom. <laughs> I woke up. And it was like zero, 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 zero. So I thought, okay, somebody around here was setting off some sort of bomb and woke us up. But we survived. Everything's okay. And now it's the 1st of January and it's early in the morning. It is 10 o'clock. And I'm just enjoying some fresh air. I'm in the... I, this is... I stopped here because... I don't know the English word for it. But I'm sitting at a... Split? I think it's a split road. Anyway, I came from over there. Oh, wait. I came from over there. And I was going over there. But there's also this road. And I don't really know that road. But it came in my mind like some sort of metaphor for life. Because um, I was planning on going that way. Because that's just the way that this road goes. But... I saw this road and I thought to myself, this is a beautiful metaphor for life because you always have choices in life with anything you do. And in the last year, I have made a couple of choices that were very life changing. I had a steady business for 11 years and I chose to give it up. And I have had horses since I was 16 and I sold my horse. And um, now... I've been thinking about this since, I think, November. Now, I'm also in a new crossroads thingy, split thingy, because I was planning on keeping on my house. And I've been thinking of giving up my house and starting to live in Sophie just full time with my dogs and start to travel. And also create another new business that I'm working on. But these are things I want to do. And I'm, I'm, I've been doing them since October, November. So, I mean... I'm already working on it, but I want to have it done this year. And, um, uh, yeah, so I'm sitting here in this split and it's making me realize, like, do I want to keep my house, go straight, keep my house, just gradually start a new business, you know, gradually finish Sophie, or do I just go there? Quit my house, get my business running, live in the van. Go. I saw this road and it felt like a metaphor for me. Like, do I want to go straight, keep my house, continue my business? Or do I want to just, again, like last year, throw everything upside down. Give up my house, build out Sophie. And also I was in Sophie for the last couple of days. And I was thinking, okay, maybe I want to adjust this. Or maybe I want to adjust that. If I'm going to live in it full time, I probably need some more of this. Or I need some more room. Or I need some more luxury in this area or I need some more of that so I was kind of thinking like oh should I change these things and one thing that I've been thinking about for a long time ever since I got the color on I want to change the color I like the color but it turned out different than I thought it would uh, but that's for a <laughs> different video but I'm 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 getting what is kind of happening is that as, cl as I'm getting closer to taking choices, big choices in life, I'm starting to doubt smaller choices. So for some reason, I'm struggling with the choice making part of it. And I'll be okay. You know, one of these days I'll just make a choice and then that's it. So what do you think, guys? Should I go straight in life? Should I go over there? Just give up my house? Build out Sophie, start traveling. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna go explore that one. Oh! Jesus Christ.
Okay, blooper. <laughs> I didn't fall, but I almost fell. Going in this trail, I almost fell. I don't think I've ever been down this one. But now I'm in here, and it's gorgeous. So if this is a metaphor for life, then I'm taking it. Like, go take the trail less taken, or, and then you get to go on these awesome paths. <laughs> Life is awesome. Guys, I'm riding my bike and it's my lucky new year because look what's here. This on the floor. <laughs> Thank you.
So you guys, in the end, taking that road was a good metaphor because at first I almost fell. <laughs> then I got into this really nice place. Even though it's winter, it was very beautiful. And in the summer, there's going to be tons of blueberries there. And then I found 10 euros. <laughs> so I mean, best possible outcome, right? So uh, <laughs> I think that's a good note to stop this video on. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures.